Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I welcome you specially into the month of complete favor, the seventh month of the year 2020. God has done it again by His mercies. He has preserved us. He has kept us. In spite of the challenges that has before our world this year, the pandemic God in his mercy has sustained us and has preserved us. We are eternally grateful to God and we return all glory and honor and praise to his name. It is my prayer that in this month of complete favor, in spite of what our world is faced with, God will show you favor. Favor materially, favor spiritually, favor physically favor in every area, in all ramification, whichever area of your life you are lacking favor, it is my prayer that God will show you favor. Please hear me. 2020 is not wasted. The year is not wasted and your case is not hopeless. One month is too much for God to change and to turn your stories around. I am believing God that in this month of complete favor, God will turn your story around. God will change your case by favor, by favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen to me. Where God will be taking you to from now till the end of the year, and if Jesus starry beyond the end of the year, you can't get there on your own. What God has for you from now till the end of the year and beyond the end of the year, if Jesus study, you cannot get it on your own. You need help. You need assistant. You need help. You need assistant to get to where God is taking you to and to get what God has for you. And what God will use to assist you and to help you to get there and to receive what he has for you is favor. I believe that by the favor of God, you will get there. And by his favor, you will receive all that he has in stock for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God you are talented. Praise God you are educated. Praise God you are hardworking. But hard work is not enough. Talent is not enough. Education is not enough to get you there or to give you that which God has ordained for you. It will take more than education. It will take more than talent. It will take more than good looks to receive the things that God has ordained and designed for you. It will take the favor of God. Please join me. Open your Bibles to 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 9. 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 9. He will protect his faithful ones. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, the Son of God, from this July to the end of December 2020, God will protect you. God will protect your children. But please check it out. You need to be faithful to God. Everyone committed and faithful to God will enjoy God's supernatural protection. But the wicked will disappear in darkness. No one will succeed by strength alone. No one, no one, no one, not as a minister, not as a singer, not as a career person, not as a student. No one will succeed by strength alone. It's not possible. What does strength there represent? It represents education. It represents beauty. It represents good looks. It represents hard work. It represents background. It represents money. No one succeeds alone by talent. No one succeeds alone by education. No one succeeds alone by he or her, his or her good looks. No one succeeds alone by his or her connection. It will take the favor of God to succeed. It will take the complete favor of God to succeed. I've seen smarter people fail in places where people who, in quote, does not look smart succeed. I've seen people who don't have any kind of human connection 
breakthrough in places where people in court who know who is who were rejected. Why? What was the difference? The favor of God. I pray that from this month of July to the end of the year, the favor of God will take you into places where others cannot go through. God, by his favor, will surprise you and bless you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I've seen ministers who think they are very smart and very eloquent fail. Where others who, who cannot even pronounce word properly in English were succeeding. How? By the favor of God. No man succeeds alone by strength. I'd like you to look at your talent, look at your gift, look at your educational background, put it one side from now henceforth and embrace the favor of God and let the favor of God rub on that which so-called you have and see make you produce adequate results for sustaining success in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Even Jesus, the Son of God, while he was on earth, could not succeed without favor. The Bible says he had favor with God and favor with man. Look at the book of Luke. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and all the people. So the reason Jesus had a successful ministry on earth was not just because he was the son of God, he had favor with God. And brethren, when you have favor with God, you will have favor with man. When you have favor with God, even your enemies, you will have favor with them. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. When God favors you, everything around you favors you. I pray in the name of Jesus, in this month of complete favor, may God favor the works of your hand. May God favor your business. May God favor your going out and your coming in. When you have favor with God, even those who don't like your face, they will favor you. They might not like you, but they cannot help but to bless you, but to give you the things that you desire and the things that you need and that the things that you want. I pray that this month of complete favor, the favor of God will distinguish you. The favor of God will endorse you and make you a success in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Look at the book of Exodus 11 and verse 3. Exodus 11 and verse 3. Let me quickly prophesy before reading this scripture. Every document that bears your name from this month through the remaining part of this year, anywhere that document appear, it will smell the favor of God. And because of the favor of God, every document that bears your name will produce you results and answers in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. God has just blessed someone as a word of prophecy. Your document that have been lying down there in that office receive the favor of God. And as your document begins to smell God's favor, it will be endorsed in the name of Jesus Christ. And that which you have been waiting for, by the favor of God right now, receive it. It is released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Exodus 11 and verse 3. Now the Lord had caused the Egyptians to look favorably on the people of Israel. Listen to me, child of God. This month of complete favor, God will cause your enemies to look at you with favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Now the Lord, now the Lord, they did not manipulate it. The Lord caused them to receive favor before their enemies. Hallelujah. Only God can do that. I decree in the name of Jesus, those who have conspired against you and have ganged up against you, as you appear this month, as they see you, your enemies will favor you. They will favor you in the name of Jesus. The things which they have been denying you access from, as they see you this month, they will give it to you willingly by the favor the Lord is bringing upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now the Lord has caused the 
Egyptians to look favorably on the people of Israel. And Moses was considered a very great man in the land of Egypt and respected by Pharaoh's official and the Egyptians and the Egyptians people alike. How? By the favor of God. One who was a fugitive by favor became a respected man. Where they have looked down at you from today by complete favor, they will look up to you. Favor will change your status. Favor will change your smell. Favor will change your atmosphere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the same God that did it for them yesterday will do it for you today. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. If God could make their enemies to favor them in the church of the Old Testament, how much more you born and washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I decree from this day, everywhere you step to, as the sole of your feet tread upon, God will give you favor in the name of Jesus Christ. You will enjoy complete favor in Jesus' mighty name. Look at the Bible in Exodus 3 and verse 21. Glory be to Jesus. Exodus 3, 21. The Lord is at work in this month of complete favor. You will enjoy the favor of God. Every step you take this month, favor will go before you. Favor will go behind you. Favor around you in Jesus' name. Exodus 3.21 And I will cause the Egyptians to look favorably on you. Again, they are enemies. The Lord said, I will make your enemies to look at you favorably. Those people who have been fighting you to stop you from advancing into your next level of glory. After now, by the spirit of complete favor, they will begin to fight for you to succeed instead. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will cause the Egyptians to look on you with favor. They will give you gifts when you go, so you will not live empty-handed. Makujigra hanga di shadabaya nepundi giya handa. You will not end 2020 empty. In the name of Jesus, let me say it again: 2020 is not wasted, and your case is not hopeless. God will turn your story around for the better by the instrument of favor. The same way he turned their story in Egypt by the instrumentality of favor, so he will do for you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Where he is taking you to that you can't get by your own mind, by his favor you will get there in the name of Jesus Christ. The things he has designed for you to receive that you cannot collect by your own power, by his favor you will receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak favor into your life in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It's not about your height. It's not about your look. It's not about your background. It's about the favor of God. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Favor can do for you what labor cannot do. Favor can do for you what strength cannot do. Favor can do for you what your looks cannot do for you. Favor can do for you what your background connection cannot do for you. And that will be your testimony this month of July 2020 in spite of the challenges that we are faced with in our world. Favor, the favor of God will distinguish you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to get ready for unusual supernatural breakthrough and blessing in the next one week. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ, by the complete favor of God, strange things will happen in your favor this week and through the rest of the year in the midst of the challenges and the pandemic in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Son of the living God. You will see the wonders of God by the favor of the Most High God in the name of Jesus. Look at Daniel chapter 1 and verse 9. He said, Now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the princes of the Enoch. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. This favor I'm talking about, this complete favor I'm talking about, it is God by his hand that can bring you into it. Your connection cannot bring you into it. Your name cannot bring you into it. Your degree cannot bring you into it. It's good to be hardworking. It's good to be educated. It's good to take care of yourself. But God by himself is the one that can bring you into this favor. Now God has brought Daniel into favor. That is how God will bring you into favor. From now, 
and through the rest of this year, in the name of Jesus, whatever you have been struggling to have, struggling to receive, struggling to break through into, by this favor, it will cheaply be given to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It's not by power, it's not by mind, it's by the Spirit of the living God. Expect this favor because it will come in Jesus' mighty name. What is complete favor? What is complete favor? I give you three definitions of complete favor. Number one, complete favor is God's grace and kindness at work upon the life of a man. Complete favor is God's grace and kindness at work upon the life of a man. Imagine your life with grace from God and kindness from God. Hallelujah. When the kindness of God and the grace of God is at work on a man's life, that is complete favor. No man can say no to you. Nothing on earth can be turned back from you. When the grace of God and the kindness of God is at work in your life, that is complete favor. That is how from this day through the rest of this year, in the midst of the storms and the challenges, you will enjoy the grace of God, the kindness of God that is a carrier of the move of the manifestation of this favor I'm talking about. In the name of Jesus, that shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Number two, what is complete favor? Complete favor is the hand of God doing for you what you can do for yourself. Zikala Hangradia, Psalm 44 and verse 3. Psalms 44 and verse 3. The hand of God doing for you what you cannot do for yourself. And you will agree with me, everyone under the influence of my voice, you will agree with me, there are so many things your hand cannot do for yourself. There are too many things your hand cannot do for yourself. Many of us, under the sound of my voice, are less privileged. Some do not have the opportunity they wish they would have had to get the things they desire to get and to receive in life. But good news, you don't need to bother or to get worried. The hand of God, by complete favor, can do for you what you can do for yourself. Expect it and you will receive it in Jesus' name. Psalm 44 verse 3, They did not conquer the land with their sword. Your energy will not be required in the miracles that are about to come your way this year. From now henceforth, your effort will not be required in the breakthrough that are about to come into your house. From now henceforth, the blessings that are about to pursue you and overtake you, your efforts will not be required in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They did not conquer the land with their sword. It was not their own strong arm that gave them victory. The victory you begin to enjoy from now henceforth, it will not be said that you play the part in it. Amen, somebody. It will not be said that your effort was part of it. It will come to you by complete favor, by the mercies and the kindness of God. You will receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Get ready to acquire properties you did not put any form of deposit for. By the mercies of God, God will do it for you. I still believe in miracles. I believe that God has not changed. If he had done it before yesterday, he can do it again and he can do it forever. Because he is the Lord God and he changed not. Somebody is under the sound of my voice. You are a least privileged person. You are wondering, how can this be me? How can I be part of what the man of God is saying? It will come to you by the favor of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. They did not conquer the land with their sword. It was not their own strong arm that gave them victory. It was your right hand, referring to the hand of God. It was your right hand and strong arm and the blinding light from your face that helped them for you loved them. Glory to Jesus Christ, for you loved them. This is what complete favor will do for you. God doing for you what you cannot do for yourself. I'd like you to look at your life. Many are here under the sound of my voice. You are saying, man of God, I don't know how I will come out of the situation which I am in or receive that which I am believing God for. Good, you are believing God for. Let him do what you are believing him for. 
whatever you are trusting God for, that miracle, that healing, that breakthrough, I decree that the Lord release it to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. What is complete favor? Is God's stamp of endorsement upon a man. When the Holy Ghost was dealing with me on this, my heart leaped in joy. There are certain people in our society that are supposed to be who is who. When they put their endorsement on you, it opens doors for you wherever you go to. Now imagine when Jehovah, the Almighty God, endorses you. I'm not talking about the endorsement of a president or the endorsement of a premier or a governor or the endorsement of a mayor. There are certain people when they put an endorsement on your document, it opens doors for you in certain offices. That is man. How much more when God endorses you? Who can reject you? Who can say no to your document? Who can reject you? Who can say no to your business? Who can reject you? Who can say no to your face when God endorses you? And that is what complete favor means. It is God putting his stamp of endorsement on a man. And I perceive in my spirit in the name of Jesus. There are people listening to me right now that the endorsement of Jehovah is coming upon them. It's coming upon your document. It's coming upon your home. It's coming upon things that you have been believing God for, for approval. It has been done, settled in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Look at what the word of God says concerning the man Joseph, a slave in the land of Egypt. When the hand of God endorsed him, his own master looked at him and said, it is because of you, I know it, that is because of you, Joseph, that God has prospered my house. That will become your testimony from today. Everybody around you will acknowledge and recognize that the reason why they are blessed is because of you. Friends, there are people when you are around them, you enjoy the blessings of God. There are people when you are around them, the goodness and the kindness of God flows from them and reaches you because of supernatural endorsement, which is what I call complete favor. Look at the life of Joseph. Genesis 39 verse 2 to 6. The Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything, spiritually, materially, financially. He succeeded in everything he did as he served brethren. It is possible to prosper as a servant. You don't have to be a master to be prosperous. Please, if you are serving under a man as an apprentice or as a worker, if you are faithful and your heart is right with God, by the favor of God, you can prosper as a servant. You can prosper as a maid. You can prosper as a helper. God can make you a living testimony by complete favor. The Bible says the Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything he did as he served in the house of his Egyptian master. Because of you, that department where you are working, because of you, that company where you are serving, because of you, that ministry where you are committed in, I decree success in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 3, Potiphar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph, giving him success in everything he did. From this day, the hand of God upon your life will be acknowledged. Everyone around you will openly admit that something about you is the reason why they are enjoying the goodness of God. The hand of God upon you will be visibly seen because complete favor is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4. This pleased Potiphar, so he soon made Joseph his personal attendant. He put him in charge of his entire household and everything he owned. Verse 5. From the day Joseph was put in charge of his master's household, 
and property, the Lord, ah, Vajji Gradia, the Lord began to bless Potiphar household for Joseph's sake. For Joseph's sake, all his household affair ran smoothly and his crop and livestock flourished. Verse 6, so Potiphar gave Joseph complete administrative responsibility over everything he owned. With Joseph there, he didn't worry about a thing except what kind of food to eat. Joseph, listen, only then, at the end, at the big part of verse 6, Joseph was a very handsome and well-built young man. God is just trying to make us to understand that all that Joseph obtained and achieved was not because of his look. His look was completely irrelevant. It was at the end of verse 6b that the Bible chipped it in that Joseph was a handsome and a well-built man. Look at from verse 2. He never said that the reason why Joseph prospered or the reason why Potiphar recognized that the blessings of God was in his house was not because of Joseph's look. No, the reason why Potiphar recognized that God was blessing him was because the Lord was with Joseph. He never talked about anything about the looks of Joseph. Just to let you know that you do not succeed in the race of life by how beautiful you look or how handsome you look. You do not succeed in the journey of the race of life by the things that you have, but by the favor of God and by the mercy of God and by the Lord being with you. Nisha gradisho kutomahang gradish kataba. Brethren, I bring to you in the month of July, our month of complete favor, complete favor. I pray like in the case of Joseph, very soon, you, 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 walking in that office, your masters and your bosses in the office will soon acknowledge that the reason why things are happening in that department, in that office, is because of your presence. I therefore decree as a result of that, supernatural exhortation and promotion, promotion in double folds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and everyone who owns his or our own company I decree under the sound of my voice if you are hearing me receive complete favor let God begin to multiply the works of your hand break forth by the right break forth by the left break forth all around you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God by the favor of God your life will never be the same again in Jesus mighty name how do I assess complete favor glory to God how do I assess complete favor because imagine child of God from the things I have just said without the favor of God your life is twafted without the favor of God nothing will work for you you might be educated you might be hard-working without the favor of God you will be frustrated the Bible says hmm, the watchmen watch over a house but they watch it in vain, except the Lord is the one watching over that house. If the Lord is not with you and the favor of God is not resting upon your life, your effort will end up in futility. It wouldn't produce any form of results. But may God forbid, may from today God's favor marry to the works of your hand and produce you evident and results in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, success in life is much more a function of favor than of just hard work. It's good to be hard working, but your hard work must marry with favor to make your hard work productive. That is what I decree to, for you from today. May the favor of God romance the works of your hand and produce results for you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How do I assess this complete favor? that I may become a partaker of this complete favor and end the year 2020 in abundance and in prosperity. Number one, through God. Number one, through God. Exodus 12 and verse 36. The Lord caused the Egyptians to look favorably on the Israelites. The Lord caused the Egyptians. This favor I'm talking about comes from God. Until God puts it on you, you don't have it. The Bible says, And the Lord gave the children of Israel favor in the face of the Egyptians. It is God who gives this favor. Like we saw from the book of Daniel 1.9, it says, And the Lord brought Daniel into favor. It is God that brings people into this favor. If God does not favor you, friends, 
you cannot assess this favor. So number one, the first way you can assess complete favor is to come to God. And the only way to come to God is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. If you embrace the Son, He says, He that have seen me, the Son, have seen the Father. If you, the only way to get to God, to the Father, is through the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you embrace the Son of the living God, then you have access to the Father. That is the beginning of you enjoying complete favor. Number two, how do I assess and enjoy complete favor? By righteousness. Number one, through God. Number two, through righteousness. The book of Psalms chapter 5 and verse 12. Psalms chapter 5 verse 12. God is willing to bless and to protect the righteous with favor. Hallelujah. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. For thou, Lord, we bless the righteous with favor and we compass him as with a shield. God is willing to bless and to protect the righteous with favor. What does it mean to be righteous? To be upright, to be right standing with God, to do the things that pleases God. So number one, you assess this favor through God. Number two, you assess his true righteousness, living upright, pleasing the Lord and God will put this favor on you to protect you. God will put this favor on you as a shield and bless you with it. This favor comes from God. May you receive it in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number three, how do I assess and enjoy this favor? Through praise. Through praise. There is a level of praise that changes the atmosphere around your life. There is a level of praise that changes the situation around your life. Because the Bible said that God inhabits the praises of his people. When you begin to praise God, God comes down and inhabits your praise. And by the presence of the Lord, favor is released upon you. Look at the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 47. Praising God and having favor with all the people. Mazigre di jahangra di shataba. Brethren, no man has ever, ever, ever enjoyed supernatural elevation by murmuring and complaining. No man has ever, ever, ever enjoyed supernatural lifting by murmuring and complaining. Do not allow the devil make you use your mouth, destroy your life. Amen. No matter the situation or the case that you are faced with right now, do not use your tongue to murmur or to curse or to complain. Remember Job's wife said to him, why not just curse God and die? Because the truth is, every time you murmur and you curse God, you bring death upon yourself. Hallelujah, I am tired, I'm fed up. In the name of Jesus, I curse that wicked spirit of darkness. Using your tongue to speak evil against your destiny that they might destroy you. You shall not die, but you shall live to fulfill the purpose of God for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the midst of your situation, lift your hands in praise and in thanksgiving and watch God favor you. Complete favor will come upon you. It's a product of praise. Amen, somebody. Praising God and having favor with all people. I like you after this word, if you are hearing me and you are privileged to be listening to this telecast, after this word, take out 10 minutes, take out 5 minutes, everyone listening to this telecast. Please, after the word, just don't stand up and go about your business. Take out 5 minutes, 10 minutes and just spend it in praising God. Thank God for life. Thank God that you can breathe on your own with what our world is faced with. Thank God for preservation of life. Thank God for sustaining you. Thank God for preserving you. Thank God for providing for you. Hallelujah, glory be to Jesus. Lift up your hand and just glorify Jesus Christ. And if at a venture you have been complaining, please, and murmuring, ask God for mercy and for forgiveness. Because the Bible says every time you complain, you destroy yourself. You cause the destroyer to have access to oppress you and to destroy the works of your hand. Spend time in praise and in thanksgiving and watch Jehovah God turn your situations around for the better in the name of Jesus Christ. 
praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. So praise brings favor that brings addition and multiplication. That that looks like is dying in your life. As you begin to praise God, let life come upon it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Number four, how do I assess and enjoy complete favor through expectation, through expectation. Proverbs 23 and verse 18. Expectation, expect favor every day, for surely there is an end, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. Brethren, from this day, through the remaining part of this year, every day you wake up, I don't care what your situation looks like, or what life is saying or making look to you, Get up in the morning and just begin to expect favor. Hallelujah. Mando Grahandia. I'm expecting favor today as I go into that office favor, as I stand before that man and woman favor in the name of Jesus, favor in my business, favor in the works of my hand, favor in my marriage, favor in my home, favor before my wife, favor before my husband. I want you to begin to decree favor from today. What you expect is what you receive and experience. What you don't expect, you don't experience it. I want you to release your heart in thanksgiving and begin to expect favor. The Lord will do it for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Look beyond your situation and give God praise and see God turn your case around for the better in the mighty name of Jesus. I see complete favor coming to your house. I see complete favor coming to your family. I see complete favor coming into your home in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Number five. How do I assess and enjoy this favor? By obedience. Friends, there are favors you can never enjoy from God if you are not obedient. Remember what the word of God says. Say to the righteous, it is well with him and he shall eat the fruit of his labor. The Bible says, if thou be willing and thou be obedient, thou shalt eat the fruits of the land. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at the book of Genesis chapter 6, verse 8 and verse 22. Genesis 6, verse 8 and verse 22. I need us to see that Noah enjoyed favor, found favor in the sight of God. Most times we read this scripture, we just say, oh, that is because God decided to just favor Noah. No, the reason Noah enjoyed favor from God was because Noah was obedient. There are favors you can never enjoy from God if you are not obedient. Obedient to prophetic instruction, obedient to divine instruction, obedient to the word of God. But Noah found favor with the Lord. Noah found favor with the Lord. Why? Look at verse 22. So Noah did everything. Noah did everything exactly. This is where many of us have a problem. There are so many under the sound of my voice that want favor from God. We pray for favor, we decree favor, we prophesy favor, but we don't obey God. We want to have it our way. It doesn't work that way. God is giving you a pattern on which you should run your ministry, but you don't want to. You want to run the ministry the way you feel you are supposed to. You will not prosper that way. God only backs what he commissions and only in obedient. As long as you are not obedient to God, don't expect the support and the backing of God. So Noah did everything exactly as God has commanded him. No wonder Noah found favor before God. Because God saw in Noah that he said, obedient heart, a heart of obedience. Can God find a heart of obedience in you? Is there obedient in you? If God gives you the instructions the Lord has been giving to you, do you carry them out? Most times we start, we abandon them halfway. We are faithful to God this way, we are not faithful to God that way. You don't get favor by God in that manner. If you truly desire God to favor you, you must be willing to obey God in all ramification and do it well, just like Noah. When you do that, you will begin to enjoy the favor of God. 
Be faithful to God in your spirit, in your soul, in your body, in your giving, in your tithing, in your fellowship, in your commitment to God. When you are that committed and faithful to God, and you are righteous before the Most High God, complete favor becomes your portion. I pray that the Lord make it so for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number six, how do I assess and enjoy this evil? Because it is my prayer, brethren. It is my prayer that everyone under the sound of my voice will spend the remaining half of this year in, in absolute joy, prosperity, abundance of blessing. In spite of the, there will still be challenges. There will still be challenges. There will still be storms. But you can still enjoy goodness and mercy and kindness through the storms. Just like Jesus sleeping in the midst of the storm. You can still do so. But only by the favor of God. Only the favor of God will take you there. And if you take out these keys, you will have access to this favor and you will enjoy it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Key number six. How do I assess and enjoy complete favor? Through association. Through association. Genesis chapter 13, verse 1 and 2 and verse 5. Genesis 13, 1 and 2 and verse 5. Glory be to Jesus. There are people whose company favor us. Hallelujah. I have discovered in the journey of life, to the point which God has brought me to right now, there are certain favor that has come on me as a result of the association that I belong to or the company of friends or people that I keep. Brethren, there are levels of favor that will only come to you by keeping the right association. The right association. There are things God has ordained to bless you with that will not come to you directly. It will come to you through certain people that God has positioned before you and around you. If you miss these people, you miss that favor. Unfortunately, a lot of us are surrounded with the wrong association and that is the reason why we cannot assess complete favor. See what the word of God says. In Genesis 13, verse 1 and 2 and verse 5. So Abraham left Egypt and traveled north into Negev, along with his wife and Lot and all their own. Verse 2. Abraham was very rich in livestock, sliver and gold. See how much God blessed Abraham. Abraham was the one that had a covenant with God. Abraham was the one that was called by God. Abraham was the one that God spoke over his life. And true to the word of the Lord, the blessings came. Every promise God made Abraham, Abraham began to walk in so much wealth. The Bible says Abraham was so rich, very rich, in livestock, in silver, and in gold. But look at what happened in verse 5. Lot, who was traveling with Abraham, God had no covenant with Lord. Lot was not called by God. There was nothing God said over Lord. But by association with a covenant man, by association with a blessed man, the Bible says Lord who was traveling with Abraham had also become very wealthy. Azigradish Katababa. Brethren, prayerfully choose your association. There are many who are poor today because of the wrong association. And there are many who are superly blessed and rich today because of the right association. There are many who are anointed today, blessed by God today because of the right association. The Bible says, had also become very wealthy with flocks of sheep and goats and herb of cattle and many things. Why? Because he was traveling with Abraham. Who are you traveling with? It is my prayer that the remaining half of this year, and if Jesus study the rest of your life, may you travel with covenant people. May you travel with the right association. May you travel with people that the Lord has ordained and have assigned to take you to your destination. And anyone under the sound of my voice who is surrounded with people that he or she should not be around with, I cut them off your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God help you 
and may God sustain you in the mighty name of Jesus. I know people who by covenant God brought them under a covering and they left the covering and the blessings of God left their lives. Amen, somebody. The Bible says the prodigal son, when he left his father's house, he wasted all that he had on riotous living. Everything he had was wasted until he returned back to the father's house. May God grant you wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not lose your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Number seven, how do I assess and enjoy this favor? Through prayers. Look at the life of Jabez. First Chronicles 4, verse 9 to 10. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Through prayers. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. Very honorable man. But his destiny was limited by the name the mother put on him, which meant painful sorrow. Many of us are blessed with great potential, but there are limitations on our destiny, just like Jabez. Great man, honorable man, more honorable than all his brethren, but there was a limitation on his life by the name the mother called him. Imagine being named painful. Every time you are called, people are calling you painful, come here, painful, come here, sorrow, come here. His name became a limitation because what you are called, you become. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever negative name you are being called that God has not given to you, I curse that name and I change it and I call you blessed of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please be very careful what you call yourself or what you call any woman that you truly love because what you call a person, a place or thing, so it becomes in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what the word of God says. Amen. Look at verse 10. What did Jabez do? He was the one who prayed. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel. Oh, that you will bless me and expand my territory. Jabez got to the point and said, enough is enough. I'm tired of this limitation. He went to God in prayer. He cried to God in prayer. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And what happened? And God granted him his request. And Jabez's story was turned around. The man who had a limitation on his life became a blessed man. Brethren, through prayer, you can assess complete favor. Through prayer, you can tap into the realms of strange blessing where God can turn your story around and make you become a favorable person even in the sight of your enemies. Look at the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 4 verse 16. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy. Another word for mercy and grace here is the favor of God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Where? In the place of prayer. In the place of prayer. Any child of God who stay away from prayer, what you don't know you are doing is you are denying yourself favor. Every time you go to God in prayer and you spend time in the place of prayer, you are provoking the favor of God upon you. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive His mercy and we will find grace. Those are two words that can be used for favor as well, mercy and grace, to help us when we need it most. Brethren, Nije Gredia, lift your hand wherever you are, Adi Sopruna Angadiza, Nipo Duje Grine Iga Angradish Kedia, lift your hands, Emika Andia, Lipodia, Nesu Gredish Kedia Bahandia, as you pray in the spirit for 30 seconds, Miga Busia, Negiza Guje Grida, Ande Biligra, Ando Vuzia Daba, receive the favor of God, receive the favor of God, let the atmosphere around your life change, 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 change. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God, Mandi Gila Angradia, let every pain cease in the name of Jesus. Let the God of answers bring you forth answers in the name of Jesus. For every trouble, let there be double portion of blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You are blessed and highly favored. Number eight, how do I assess and enjoy complete favor? Through sowing seeds of favor. 
whatever favor you desire from God, first sow it as a seed. Every act of man is a seed. Whatever you do, expect that a harvest is coming. Do not be deceived. Whatever you do, expect that a harvest is coming. So if you desire favor, brethren, if you are under the sound of my voice from today, begin to sow the seeds of favor. If you go around sowing the seeds of discord and sowing the seed of slandering, get ready. The harvest of discord and slandering is going to come for you. If you go sowing the seed of envy and jealousy, get ready. That is coming to you. But if you desire favor, then begin to sow favor. Get up every morning and look for somebody to be kind to. I deliberately try consciously to practice that every day. As you drive out, look for someone to show favor to. Look for someone to be kind to. As you are doing that, you are sowing the seeds of favor. And God in return will bring you the harvest of favor. Look at the word of God. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 27. If you search for good, you will find favor. If you search for good, you will find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. It will find you. As you go about setting discord between people and you stand afar looking at them laughing, get ready. Trouble is coming to your house in plenty food. You can't escape it. Everyone that takes delight in causing trouble, the Bible said the harvest of trouble shall be the portion of that man or that woman. If you search for good, look for good. Don't wait for good to do good. Look for who to do good to. Be good to people. Amen, somebody. He said then you will find favor. You will find favor. Sow the seeds of favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Like I've always said, my assignment is to rescue God's children from the harassment of the wicked, which they have brought on themselves, either by ignorance or by carelessness or by sin. And I am very passionate about what God has called me to do. I am not interested in what anybody else is doing because when I appear before God, I shall give account of my assignment, not of what somebody else is doing. Amen, somebody. Glory be to Jesus. Stop going around sowing the seed of evil and discord. Because if you do so, the Bible says, you will find evil. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 7. Glory be to Jesus, the Son of God. God blesses those who are merciful. For they will be shown mercy. God blesses those who are merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Everyone who sowed the seed of mercy and the seed of favor, the Bible said they will show them favor. This explains why some of us get into offices and they chase us away. Because our hearts are full of the seeds of evil. And that is why we are never shown favor. But I pray for the mercy of God upon you. I pray for the mercy of God upon you and your household. In Jesus' mighty name. Finally, how do I assess and enjoy complete favor through humility? Listen, brethren, there is no way you can be promoted by God if you are not humble. Humility is a must for any man who truly desires that God should honor him or elevate him. No humility, no promotion from God. You cannot assess complete favor without the spirit of meekness. What is humility? Seeing yourself the way God wants you to see yourself. You are not overestimating yourself, neither are you bringing yourself lower than what God has made you. You are seeing yourself the way God wants you to see yourself. Brethren, when you humble yourself, God will exalt you. See the word of God. James chapter 4 verse 10. Humble yourselves before the Lord. Humble yourself. Don't let God do it for you because if God humbles you, you might not like it. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up in honor. And brethren, when God lifts you up in honor, no man can dishonor you. When God lifts you up in honor, no man can bring you down in shame. 
The reason why many are falling down in shame and in disgrace is because they are manipulating themselves to go up and not by the hand of God. But humble yourself and see God elevate you and honor you. Let me say this quickly before I start praying. God has the ability to lift one man up and to bring another man down. He is the sovereign God. He can do it if he chooses to do it. My prayer for you, you, you listening to me, is that you are under the mercies of God, that you only enjoy the lifting of God and not God bringing you down. Because if God brings you down, no man, no man, no matter how anointed he or she is, because it's God who anoints men, can pick you up. It's therefore important and it's wisdom for you to humble yourself under the hand of God and allow God to elevate you and to promote you. Look at Daniel, Daniel 2 and verse 21. He controlled the course of the world in vain. He removed kings and set up other kings. He gave wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the scholar. God removes king and put up other kings. If God removes you and replaces you, you are finished. If God replaces you, you are finished. And so many have lost their place as a result of pride and arrogance. God gave you a privilege and gave you an opportunity to enjoy his favor and blessing. And it got into your head and you became bigger than God like Saul. And Samuel said to Saul, he said, When thou was little in thy own eyes, did God not anoint you king over Israel? Now that you have taken laws into your hand, obedient is better than sacrifice. May you not lose your place in God. In the name of Jesus, may Jehovah God not replace you. Because if God replaces you, brethren, it might be difficult for you to ever get that place again. Look at the book of Psalm. Psalm 75, verse 6 to 8. Ma koji kadu mahangadea. Psalm 75, verse 6 to 8. Glory to Jesus. For no one on earth from east or west, or even from the wilderness, should raise up a different feast. Verse 7. It is God alone who judges. He decides who we rise and who we fall. Verse 8. Glory to God. For the Lord holds a cup in his hand that is full of foaming, wine mixed with spices. He pours, it out, he pours out the wine in judgment, and all the wicked must drink it, draining it to the dread. May you be in the favorable book of the Most High God. May the God who lift men up, lift you up and not bring you down. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I lift my hand and I pray, O God, for my hearers and all those who are privileged to hear my voice this morning. I decree and I declare that in this month of complete favor, Jehovah God, favor your children, favor their going out and their coming in, favor the works of their hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we journey through the remaining half of this year, may your favor protect us as a shield round about and keep us from the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. If you haven't given your life to Jesus, may I ask you please to ask Jesus into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. Surrender yourself to him and ask him for forgiveness. If you have prayed that prayer, congratulations, you are saved because the first way to assess this favor and to enjoy it is through God. And the only way to get to the Father is through the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. If you pray that prayer, congratulations, you are saved. Now stretch your hands, everyone, in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. Father, I decree and I declare that we shall see the end of July 2020. July 2020 will not see our end in the name of Jesus. I decree that this week is a week of favor, a week of blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. May the works of our hands this week produce answers in our favors in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I pray for anyone that is sick right now, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. I perceive in my spirit that there is someone that is listening to this telecast that have a strange tightness of chest. This pain moves from the chest to the stomach and is tight. Your stomach gets tight and then it comes to your chest. 
I decree right now, lay your hands where that pain is right now. I command relief for you in the name of Jesus. May the hand of God touch you now, be healed and be made whole in the name of Jesus Christ. I perceive in my spirit there is someone that is stooling blood. I decree the healing power of Jesus upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a woman listening to me that is crying right now for God's peace in your home. There is tension in your family. Your marriage is almost broken up because your husband has left home. I decree by the spirit of restoration in the name of Jesus. Let your marriage be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I give you praise and I give you glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. I pray for that woman who is crying and praying for her son who is sick and who has left home. Lord, I pray for the boy returning home in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, you know our names and you know our cases. I decree in the name of Jesus, whatever is the case of your children, let there be answer, let there be a divine intervention in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And anyone sick as their hands are laid on that sickness, I release healing in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for your word of faith that has gone forth. Confirm and honor your word with signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for that man called James that has lost his job, who has been sacked. Please, if you are the one I'm talking about, I want you to send your testimony and call the number on the screen. I'm hearing the Spirit of the Lord speaking to me. I pray for that man, James, who has lost his job. I decree in the name of Jesus, let there be a restoration. I command an open door for him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, I thank you. Father, I give you praise. I give you glory and honor. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. Let there be answers from above. Let this week be a favorable week for everyone under the influence of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.